Hello, this is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Smartphones and Cell Phones blog. As you can see in front of me, I have my HTC Evo 4G from Sprint. And I'm going to show you a, a new application that was just launched tonight. And it's one that I've been looking forward to um, because uh, there's been the viewer of this application loaded on many new Android devices, um, but we, this is the first release of their editing application. So what I'm talking about is the, the Quick Office application. Now, a lot of these uh, devices, including uh, the Evo 4G, came preloaded with, as you can see here, that first little icon of Quick Office. Whoops. The, uh, Quick Office. It's a viewer. Now, so then when you get an email, you can view the documents, and that's all it is for. Today they now released their Quick Office, uh, what do they call it? Quick Office Suite. I just started it there. Let me go to Android Market and I'll do a. I did a search earlier to find this. Quick Office Connect. So this is the Quick Office Connect. As you can see, it says the first and only Microsoft Office productivity suite for Android devices to view and edit Word, Excel, and PowerPoint files. That part right there is not true, but this is with integrated access to multiple remote storage providers. See, what I've had before is documents to go from DataViz on all my Android devices way back to the G1, and that actually has almost desktop class uh, editing and creation capabilities where you can do footnotes and endnotes and comments and, and all kinds of stuff. But this is the first one that actually brings in the cloud storage um, files, which is a pretty big deal. Now, documents to go on uh, the iPad and the iPhone have that cloud storage capability, but it has not yet been implemented in Android. So, if you want to do cloud storage work with documents, Quick Office is the way to go. Now, uh, this Evo 4G came with a Quick Office software, the viewer. It was only $14.99 to actually uh, purchase this version and upgrade, which I did. So uh, paid 15 bucks and got the version. Now let's go ahead and open it up and kind of give you a little walkthrough of the application. So here you can see this is the main screen that starts with it's a file explorer type of screen. Let me get some fingerprints off there that seem to be glaring back. So this is kind of the file explorer of the software. Um, as you can see, I've, I've set up uh, Google Docs, Dropbox, and then you can see this SD card in recent documents. If I press on the menu button, you can see this updates to check for updates. If you tap on help, it goes to the web browser and takes you to a help file. There's search to search documents and about, and as you can see here, the Quick Office uh, 3.2.37 and license information. The new feature that we haven't seen before on Android uh, Office applications is this Add Remote Account. So if I tap on that, you'll see these are my choices that I currently have, right? I've got uh, Google, Dropbox, Box, MobileMe, and another MobileMe. I don't have a MobileMe account. I do, I do and have set up Google and uh, Dropbox. I also have a Box account uh, somewhere. And uh, knowing the way that they've gone with their previous iPad and iPhone versions, I'm sure we'll see even more support for maybe things like SugarSync or, or other document uh, storage repositories. So, at first when I launched this application, I said, okay, here's the file explorer view. There's all of this. Uh, okay, that's nice, but how would I actually create a document? I was like, oh, no, this is another viewer. So what you do, um, you tap on um, SD card, say, and then you tap on menu again, you can see there's the option down at the bottom to create an account, sort your documents, create a folder, about and help. So if I tap on create a document, I can see I have options for creating a Word document, which is, um, as you'll see, is the X, or, uh, it's the newer um, XML format. There's a Word 97 to 2003 document, Excel workbook, and um, 97 to 2003. So let's tap on Word document. Okay, so here we see there's a blank document. It's got the docx extension on it. And uh, I can go ahead and tap on the menu. You see now I have open, save, format, keyboard, search, and more. Tap more. 
page view, new, save as, properties, updates, about, and home. So the first thing I want to do is turn on the keyboard, right? And then I can type uh, this is a test document. Okay, so I type away, I enter my, you know, I can do it in portrait or in uh, landscape mode. Again, toggle the keyboard on and off. Let's say you want to do some more advanced editing rather than just uh, typing fonts, right? So you can, um, if you tap on a on the screen, you can see it's select text. If I say select, it will select that word, and then I can perform formatting. Okay, so you see the formatting is bold, italic, underline, strike through. There's some font, as you can see, there's the font. So you can see the fonts, font sizes, font colors, and highlight colors. So there's there's a few options for um, the document. If I tap on hold on there, there's just cancel selection, which I'm not going to do. So that's about it, though, for formatting. There's no, uh, unlike documents to go, there's no bullets and indents and any of that kind of stuff. But uh, I also believe that on a smartphone, I mean, I'm a power user and I rarely actually create a full document. On a smartphone, you would get a document, you'd be able to open it up, you can do some basic formatting with this tool and uh, I just think it's the, the power of the cloud storage that is getting, uh, getting you what you need. So that's a look at the, uh, the document editor. Let's jump, into, uh, let's jump into the word processor, create a document, or the workbook, create an Excel document. And this is nice because this uh, large 4.3 inch screen, you can see you can, you can actually view quite a bit of your, of your uh, Excel spreadsheet. Now if you double tap, then you tap anywhere else to select. It selects the range of cells. All right. Now let me just jump back in here for a minute. So there's a cell I've selected. One of the most common things. Uh, it's, you can do multiple worksheets as well. One of the most common things you do is uh, you format that cell. Now this is number format. It just has different numbers of number formatting things like that. I don't. I haven't been able to find an option for like enter the function right. Um, it has font formats go to the cell things like that. So what you have to do what I've learned is you actually have to go into the function area there you actually have to physically enter um, The function itself, which is a bit odd because like as you see there the let's Go back to the ABC if I do some I was hoping that there would be uh, a drop-down list for functions or, or something like that so you wanted to now see there's some I wanted to say something like B1. You have to do it fit manually, which is kind of a pain in the butt. I really preferred to uh, click and drag on a cell area. Oops. B1 through B is a six. And turn. Oh, see now it got rid of my equal sign. So I think it needs some work on this on the spreadsheet as far as the function support. Um, I tried tapping holding, doesn't change input method. Uh, if you tap and hold in the cells here, it has font format, number format, and cancel selection, so you can do some formats to the cells. But let me just jump back actually to the cloud storage. So say I had Google Docs set up, I tap on that. Again with the screen. So here we go. There's a list of um, Word, Excel files. It even um, lets you get into PowerPoint. Um, there's some there. Let's see. On Dropbox, on Dropbox, I don't think I have very many actually. There's a PDF. You can use it as a PDF viewer as well. And uh, I don't know. It's kind of nice to be able to access these cloud storage documents. Editing is currently a bit limited. With the application, I'm sure it will be updates along the way. And the great thing about competition with uh, clients such as the DataViz Documents Go is that it can get better over time. So thanks for watching, everybody.